How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael Vazer3, and welcome to Total War Rome 2. I am going to be doing a Baxtrian campaign. And this is going to be a little bit different, a little bit new to the channel. Something that hasn't really been here. Like, we try and do a quite a wide variety of games. It's, of course, a Minecraft-based channel, but we often like to do a couple different games, such as Tube Sim, uh, Town of Salem, and I did have a Rome 1 campaign a uh, couple months back. I lost save files to that. I know, disappointing. But we're here now, and like I said, this is going to be a little bit different for another reason. It's, well, definitely not going to be playing on easy. I'm going to be, it's, it's going to be, instead of a bunch of commentating, and focusing around trying to be funny and doing it. it's going to be kind of a calm campaign where I'm just going to be I'm going to be playing the game how I would normally play this game because the way this game is played is a lot different than you would play such as Minecraft or Town of Salem or mm, I would say it's most similar to Tube Sim where it's by yourself and you're just but there is um uh, multiplayer campaigns, but I don't, there's no one else in the group that has this game, so, yeah, if you don't know what this game is, just give it a shot, if you don't enjoy it, I'm not going to force you to watch it, um, like I said, this is something very new to, new to the channel, so I'm not expecting everyone to like it, I accept that, and I, it's just a game I enjoy personally, and if I'm going to play it, I might as well record on it. That's my mindset, at least. Okay, so I'm going to be playing Bactria. Like I said, there's a bunch of different um, factions out there. I'm going to be playing Bactria. Uh, you can read all this stuff right here. Um, so the bonuses it gets are plus 20% wealth from all commerce buildings, which is good, and multiculturalism. Um, minus 100% public order penalties due to presence of foreign cultures, which is going to be good for invading different, um, different regions, sorry. And like I said, I'm just going to be playing on normal, um, because I just got the game, like, February, in the, towards the middle, actually towards, the, yeah, towards the middle of February, so I'm not an expert at this game by any means, but... As we do more campaigns and as I get better, I will up the ante a little bit. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to get into this campaign. And like I said, I'm going to play it a little bit different than I have been playing some of our other games. And I'll try and skip the loading as much as I can. Unless there's, unless I'm like talking about something important, like I'll skip the rest of this loading. Finally, like that, that loading took like five minutes. I'm not joking. The one thing that this game could improve on, oh my gosh, I'm getting a little bit of lag here, is um, it could definitely improve on loading times. So we start here with these four regions. We actually own two whole provinces, so there's a whole world out there, and I think we're going to go for a military victory. I'm not quite sure, though. So if we were going for that, it would be control 90 settlements, either by direct ownership or through satrapies and military alliances, and completely control six provinces with these provinces. So Britannica, done. That's the one we start out with. Italia, which is Italy, what campaign in Rome 2 would be without taking Italy. Um, Ponto Caspia, Mesopotamia, Thracia, and Armenia. So those are the long term goals. Actually, there's a, more that I didn't read. And maintain 180 units in total and maintain 16 mercenary units. Hmm, that's weird, but okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I think we're going to take these two settlements here um, just to get started and okay where do we want our military 
our military things down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be moving our armies down. And then I think we're going to try and build up. These guys are a little bit upset with us. And these guys are a little happy. So I'm going to build a mines here. I'm going to upgrade. That's expensive. I'll wait on that. At least for now. I'll expand that. I'll get a uh, temple just to increase the increase the um, happiness. Duh. I was blanking there for a second. And I want to get some food because it's never fun to be low on food. Trust me. Um, I'm going to combine these armies. Basically put them into one. I guess it'll be this one, and I will start recruiting some units. There we go. No, 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 no. Not Eastern Spearmen. Eastern Spearmen are terrible. And then I'm going to be researching uh, military just so we can get this uh, next barracks. Well, is it this one or this one? Is this an uh, pikeman? So this one. That will be five turns. Then I, I think we're going to try and take this settlement. And let's see what we can do for... No, that's not diplomacy. Let's see what we can do for diplomacy. I'll try and get as many trade agreements as possible for now. Since they really like that offer. Let's see if we can get some money. Nope. Let's see if we can get some money from that. Yes. Okay. Dahe, I think that's how you pronounce it. Trade agreement. They do not want a trade agreement. Well, I'll destroy you soon enough anyways. Okay, I want to get at least one alliance going or non-aggression. We already have a non-aggression. See if they want a defensive alliance. That's a moderate military access. It's, so they want military access. I probably should have offered that first. They do not want a defensive alliance this turn. We'll wait at least one turn for that. Uh, so basically, our first um, couple of obje objectives I want to do is to take this region right here. And then I'll see what I can do from there. Out of money. Out of moving. Diplomacy is done for all I can see. Um... I think I'm going to end the turn. Oh, issue an edict. Um, um, I think I'm just going to do bread and games for this province now, just because I want to get public order right away and food. I don't want that to be a major problem in the beginning. So. I will skip the turns unless something diplomatically happens, which doesn't look like it's going to be um, this early in the game. And that's one of those, because there was at least, yeah, there, there, there was one, one non-aggression. Let's see if they're willing money for it. If they will give me a thousand dollars, I'll take it. Three hundred. Um, how about... 500. They accept okay. We won't be going to war with them at least until the near near future. At least until not not at least not for the near future. Gosh. You work on my commentating a little bit apparently or my pronunciation. One thing I find weird is that I pronunciate pronunciation the most. Um, we already got quite a few in that army. I'm gonna bring, who's the most unhappiest? These guys are a little unhappy, so I'm gonna bring that army up there to make them more happy. Um, the, that public order's going up. What would that give me? Well, from all sources, 300 wealth from substance versus 206%. Hmm. Might as well for now. 
I don't know what's okay. Yeah, I will know what they have because I have a spy right here. Oh, they have like that's that's very tempting. Well, I think we're gonna do is we're gonna recruit a couple more. Okay, they have they're gonna have six. Six plus five and it's not fortified. Yeah, we'll kick their butts. Um, I'm not gonna bother on wasting our mmm. So should we poison them just to level up our spot? I think we will. Depends on how much it costs. 75% chance for a 412, I'll take it. And it's always good to level up your spy right away. Poison will succeeded. And yes, we, we got another level up. So I'm going to go the poison route. That's basically what I use my spy for. For spying, of course, and for poisoning. Because if you get like a level 8 spy with mass poisoning and critical or whatever, it's boss. Trust me. Um, anything else I can upgrade? Nope. Diplomacy. I'm gonna destroy the next turn. Might as well not ask for that. How about... No, 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 no. I meant to click Defensive Alliance. Now they want Defensive Alliance. It probably won't give me money for it, but we'll see. They accepted it, yes. That's great. Even though they're at war with a bunch of people, but I'm fine with um, kicking their butt. I doubt they'll go for a military lot. No. Not yet. Okay, let's re recruit. Ooh, I don't want to recruit Eastern Spearmen. Because they're, they're, like, they're less... They're, two of them are worth one slinger. They barely have higher melee attack than than the slingers. How about we get two and then one? Because I don't want a super large amounts of slingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I uh, I used to, I like to have six to seven slingers and rowers in an army. And quite a bit. In the, I like to have. Usually what I go with is like two to three ballistas, and then four to three slingers, and then five pikemen, uh, like three to four cav, and and then, the, yeah, that's what, and then uh, four spearmen. You'll see, you'll see. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end one more turn, and I'll see you guys right once the turn is done. Okay, we just got done researching and I'm going to upgrade our bear axe. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to upgrade hmm hmm I'm gonna upgrade this. Let's get more money. We are out of money for this turn. Let's we are going to be, they don't, oh, they're allies with Parthia. I don't think Parthia has much, though. Hmm. You know what, let's go for it. Because we can take them out easy, so it'll just be Parthia, we're out. Okay, so we got a little bit of battle here. Uh, they do have some horse archers, which I do not like, but we definitely have enough slingers to <laughs> throw at them. So yeah, let's, I'll see all you guys in the battlefield. Welcome guys to the battlefield. This is where our first battle of the camp place. So, um, basically we're just going to set up for battle. Okay, getting some lag. There we go. I'm going to select these guys into a group. Um, I'm going to put them over there for now. I'm going to put these guys into a select group. Let's spread them out. Let's get these guys. Let's put them in front. Let's get our cav on the sides. And I would prefer more cav, but it will do for now. We'll get some in that barracks upgrade. And then I'll leave my 
um, uh, swordsman dash eastern spearman, well dash hillman dash eastern spearman. Uh, it's in a kind of flanking. So basically, I want to throw the crap out of their horse archers and their archers, and I'll protect my slingers with my cav. And then once the hand to hand come down, I will attack them with my spearmen. Will kind of hold a defensive, so they'll kind of charge into me, and then I'll flank with my uh, with my swordsmen, my non. My melee and my melee infantry that is not pikemen. How about that? I don't know what exactly to call them. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, just because we're kind of waiting. So I attack them, so I might have to move forward. But they also might be waiting for their garrison army to come and then advance. Like these are horse archers, so I got to roll the crap out of them with my slingers. Um, we might as well advance forward. It's not going to hurt anyone unless they charge their cab at my slingers, but I don't think they have enough melee cab to do that right now anyways. They don't have much of anything. We kind of caught them with like nothing. They were not prepared. But, who can really blame them? Hmm, let's move forward again. A little bit farther. They are starting to move. I'll slow down right once I get my armies in place. It's actually pretty yeah, I'll move these guys. No, not you. These guys up a little bit. I still don't think they're gonna advance they're waiting for me to come to them, obviously. Okay, I'm just gonna move like really close to them now. I'm gonna pause it actually. Just so my slingers aren't going ahead, or well, too far ahead of everyone else. Because if there's one thing I struggle at in these battles, it's keeping my slingers alive. Too many times have there been one, one unit of cab that just destroyed everything. Like, everything. Advancing. I don't know if they had a garrison army, but this might be it. How many were there? There's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I think this is it combined because they had 6 in their main army. So, yes, it has to be. What is their range? Oh, so close. Oh, so close. Move them up just a teeny bit more. 2. Not the band. Okay, let's slow it down. Um, you guys. Oh, they done their job. <laughs> horse archers. What horse archers? Throw them, because these guys are... No, oh, they aren't routing. That's... How about you guys throw out them to get them to route? Like I said, it's basically a battle of the missiles right now. Until we get them to start routing. Yep, that's gone, so we're going to have all of them row <laughs> them out. Um, I'm not too worried about our slingers getting meleeed by their melee, because hopefully they're smart enough to run away before that happens, and then they'll just run into the pikemen. And that's what we want. They don't know it yet. That's exactly what we want. Um, charge their archers with our cav. Charge their other archers with our cav. I already know what these guys are screaming. Wonderful voice. Oh, dang it. 
dang a dang a dang a dang a darn darn darn. Well, we lost one unit of slingers. See, I told you I'm not good at keeping my slingers alive. It's the one thing. It's the ancient dang it's ancient. Oh, good theory. That's some good jingle. 46 mana check it here. Okay, you guys, I don't want you. I don't know what that is. That is tribesmen. Eh. There's spear, right? Yeah, it's horse archers. I uh, will see how good a charge does. Actually, they're okay. Never mind. They're they're they. Oh, they're just getting all routed because they're done. Oh, they're done, guys. They are done. We lost like one unit of slingers to a cav charge. That's about it. And then they just started routing. They knew they had no chance of winning that battle. We had 91 losses. They had 400, but you can't really blame them. They were unprepared. Um, let's see who got the most kills. It was... That's 38. That was 40. Yeah, our slingers did an amazing job just cutting down their, their throwers. Like, that guy got zero kills. That guy five. They got 38 just because... They charge that one unit of slingers, but you can't really blame them. So basically, that's it for the statistics. So I'll see you guys when we are back on the campaign map. And our armies successfully wrecked these guys. You can safely say that. Like this, this unit routed before, before they even were touched. So we have the opportunity to occupy, loot, subjugate, or raise. I'm just going to occupy to keep their public order as happy as possible. If there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that I do okay. I want so I want to convert that. I don't want slums. So what was I making? Uh, I guess we'll have to uh, hold out on the barracks. Actually, no, we're making that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um, I will make that temple. Oh, I don't have enough to convert it. I'll convert it next turn. And, yay, I can move my spy. If I know Parthia, even though they only have one settlement, I guarantee you they have a, at least a decent army. That's Actually, we can move there this turn. Ooh, we're going to have to get military access from these guys. Actually, yeah, they have a full basic. Yeah, they have basically have all. Oh my gosh. If, okay, I should have known picking Eastern faction, but really, like, uh, if there's one, if there are two things you want to know about me in this game, it's that I don't like unhappy population, and I don't like horse archers, skirmishers, whatever. Not my thing. Okay, so we can research some technology. I'm going to research this one just uh, to get some extra melee and defense for all units. Um, hopefully we can get that barracks, and then we'll upgrade some of our troops, meaning getting rid of the Eastern Spearmen and getting some more cav. And then hopefully we'll get some battles with Parthia. Well, we're at war with them, so we should... Who's that? Parthava. And I don't think they're Parthava is happy with us. Um, anything we can do? Let's get. Let's see if we can get military access from these guys because we're going to need it. If we, yes. Okay, that was pretty easy. That was pretty darn easy. I'm happy with that. Um, we're gonna need it if we want to cross over to across that bridge to get to Parthia easier. That's our spy took, so might as well, like, yeah, okay, who wants that? Okay, never mind, um, and now I'm just going to end the turn real quick. Uh, on the science bill, our general leveled up. Let's see what he can do. I like to go with warrior. I'm just going to end the turn, and I'll see you guys when the turn is over. Okay, these guys want us to join war against Sardes, and they're going to offer us 270 
So if I believe Sardes is a satrapy of Seleucids, um, I would join the war if you gave me some more money because I'm running a little low. But I don't want to focus. I want to focus on Parthia. So if they are be, be willing to give me one thousand five hundred. No, they aren't. Sorry, mates. Not happening. I after I take Parthia, I will. But I often like to focus on one specific area than fighting in like fifty different ones. They want military actions. I kind of want to kill you, so no. Call of the day. Okay. I'm gonna convert this village real quick. They're happy, but only because we have a bunch of military people there. Um, I don't know if I need to upgrade that necessarily. We got the money, so I'll upgrade this. Unless I need it for something else, then I won't. I'm going to celebrate good times. Come on. No, I'm going to poison their armies. A little bit different. 57% chance. Might as well, just to get that leveling up anyways. It was successful. See that, yeah, and he leveled up. So that damaged our army. They can move only half their distance. And our spy leveled up. So now we're going to get this, and it gives plus 10% chance of positive outcome for poison poisoning, which I like. I like a lot. Um, let's see if there's anything else we can do. I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, just because we're kind of at a stopping point, we're going to be fighting them, hopefully, next episode. Um, and it's going to be a big battle. Two big, usually big, yeah, not always, usually big, um, fact, uh, what's the word? It's not big, it's, eh. I'll think of it later. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not leave a like? Subscribe if you are new to this channel. And thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see all you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.